in 2013, I got the opportunity to be on Chopped, which was on Food Network. Oh, yeah. And I was at, I was working in, uh, at NOLA that night. My, Josh was off work, so I was running the show. And there was some, um, I guess, representatives for Food Network. I guess they were over in Mississippi scouting people and things like that. And they came yeah. to eat at NOLA. Well, they were at the chef table. And I didn't know it. Somebody just said, hey, um, these are some special guests you know, treat them right. So we sent out some abuse and uh, we did another course of a, a, a boost and little snacks and stuff. We ha I had a line cook that was, it was, it was pretty busy night, but he just kept getting crammed and crammed and, and backing up every ticket waiting on stuff. And so I had to, as you, as people say, I had to Gordon Ramsay him a little bit. <laughs> uh, and you know, when you're at the chef table, you're right there pretty much by the kitchen, you're in the kitchen. Yeah. So they get to see everything that's going on. Now, I wasn't trying to go off crazy and cuss up and down like you see Gordon and stuff does, but I was like, hey, dude, you're, you're killing me. You're killing me. Well, he pops off. It's like, if you think you can do any better, won't you jump back here? And I was like, okay, All right. challenge accepted. <laughs> so the way we were doing it is we expedite out front, and then, you know, the cooks prep everything. We garnish, look at everything. We send it out before we get to the food owner. So I grabbed our printer, turned it into the kitchen. I went on the other line. I started working his station and I was commanding all the tickets from the kitchen and working his station and trying to keep the whole control of yeah. the, and we were pushing, you know, almost 400 covers this night. The general manager comes over there and he's like, just staring at me. You okay. I'm like, Oh, I'm great. I'm great. I'm just trying to teach these little kids and stuff. And you know, I wasn't trying to cuss, make him mad. And then, so we finally got caught up. I went back around and I told the food runners, I said, okay, we can get back onto our regular stations. We've calmed down. And I had to take one little last last jab at the kid. And I walked by him. I said, see, that's how it's done. And then I just walked past. And he ended up getting mad and quitting. But um, <laughs> I didn't cuss at him. So corporate didn't mind, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> at least I don't think. Hey. Well, I went back out front. And then I forgot the lady's name at the time, the representative. But she said, what did you just do? And I said, excuse me? Uh, she said, what did you do just now do? And I said, my job, I think. <laughs> and, and I said, no, man, I said, I just, we had to get caught up on some food. And she said, that was very impressive. They're like, you did about 20,000 different things all within 45 minutes. And you stayed calm and you, you know, everything. And they, were front, they were front row to it too. They said, and they were front row to it. And I said, yeah. yes, ma'am. I said, that's, I said, that's the thing you learn here at Emeralds and everything else. You learn how to control chaos. And I said, because if you can't control chaos, mm. your restaurant's going to crumble. Next thing you know, your tickets piled up, and then you have a ton of customers mad. And then if you got a ton of customers mad, that's when Emerald's going to come down on you. And that was my goal: is never to make Emerald or corporate come down on me for being backed up or anything like that. They're like, "Have you ever heard of the show Chop?" And at the time, people were telling me about it. I said, "No, I really haven't." Uh, sit down and watch the episode. They're like, "You ought to, you ought to watch it." She said, "I think you would be great on it because she says it's nothing but." it's chaotic and it's time framed and you got to do this. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. And so I, I looked at it. And so I asked my boss, I said, Hey, these people want me to apply the, they were here at the restaurant the other day. Well, he said, well, let me find out because at the time Emerald was on food network. So I didn't know about, you know, yeah, uh, there's a conflict, conflict or a, of interest yeah. or anything like that. Well, by the time they were going to air our show and everything else, I think Emerald was stepping away from food network a little bit. Yeah. I saw him. Maybe uh, eventually faded out. Contract like, wise. Like, yeah. Yeah, so they said, okay, go for it. And okay. so so we applied, we went through the application process. Uh, I did a phone interview, and they said, well, congratulations, we're going to move you to the second round. I was like, okay, cool. Then they came to New Orleans and did a interview in front of a camera, basically the same questions that I answered on my phone interview. And then they did another one-on-one -on -one interview, again, with the same questions <laughs> and everything else. And then finally they called and said, hey, you've been selected to be on this episode um, of Chopped and we would like for you to. So I told my chef, I was like, uh, I said, Hey, I made it. He said, do what? And I said, yeah, I made it. So we went and did the show and luckily knock on wood, I came out with the, I came out with the win. How, and how was like, we, we don't have to go too detailed, but it's people, not many people have been on, on shop. Uh, no. that, but how, what was the experience like? Did you, was it, did you, because I, what, from what, from what I heard, and, and do you know Aaron Fegis from Fegis Barbecue? Oh, and, yes, uh, yes. A, Aaron Fegis was on Chopped, 
and she wanted she wanted as well oh, and uh but and i had asked her just one time i was asking her and she was saying that they at the very end of the show like at, every time you're 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 chopped they'll they'll I guess they bring you into a somewhere to be interviewed and talk about your I guess they replay your your stuff so that you can talk about it. does that yeah. at the ver is that how it did it at the very end of your because people don't have, what's the process like it's is it it's truly time right oh is, it was a it was possible? i think we got there at at four thirty in the morning, and I got out. It was about eleven thirty at night. Is when we got out, and so the actual cooking, the the whole you got twenty minutes, of boom, boom, boom. That actually, that actually happens. You do that right then, but in between each round is what takes forever because it's like everybody has an hour long interview, and then so they're interviewing other people. Then they'll sit you in this one room after each round, and they want you just to talk and everything, basically trying to somebody talk mess about somebody else and this and yeah. that for, and I can understand for reality TV, but it's the gaps in between the rounds is what's, what's hard. I mean, I think we did the last, after I won, I think I did a total of two hours of interviews and oh, it Lord. was basically the same questions <laughs> over and over. And then they can see me cause I'm sitting about to nod off on the last 30 minutes. And I'm like, I think we got enough. I said, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And then, so of course, I tell you, well, you don't need to tell everybody this and that. You got to wait till your release is done. If people ask, um, they're like, you can tell immediate family, but make sure. And I was like, well, it's going to be pretty hard for me not to tell my family. And they're like, why? I said, well, all my family is downtown or right downstairs waiting for me to get done with this. And they're <laughs> like, do what? And I said, I said, we're like Beverly Hillbillies. When some one person goes big, everybody's coming, top deal. I uh, love that so much. So I didn't say I won. I didn't say anything. I came downstairs and I looked at my mom and she was like, well, well. And I said, chicken dinner. And she was like, what? I said, let's go eat some chicken dinner somewhere. And then, so the next thing I know, when we did our little party, we had shirts made winter, winter chicken dinner and stuff like that. So, <laughs> That's cool. 